I was like you once, a Christian, walking through life, struggling to shed those last remnants of unhealthy faith, holding you back from being the truth-affirming free thinker that you've always wanted. Well, don't despair and look no further, because I'm about to share with you the shortcut to apostasy you need to stop being a Christian in four easy steps. Number one, the Bible. What we know about Jesus and his father, Yahweh, we know from the Bible. But is this collection of over 60 books the divinely inspired word of God? Or is it something else? Your pastor will tell you that the most famous books, the Gospels, are written by eyewitnesses to the events of Jesus' life. But in truth, none of these authors claim to be eyewitnesses, or even to have met Jesus. Sure, the complete manuscripts we have include the familiar names Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but all the early copies we have are fragments, without the titles. And when the 1st and 2nd century church fathers quote other books, they tell us the author's name. But when they quote these Gospels, they don't use any names at all. It sure looks like someone around 160 AD decided to attach plausible known names to the completely anonymous works in order to give them authority. While scholars have confidence that Paul the Apostle wrote seven books of the rest of the New Testament, those books that remain are anonymous, ambiguous, or far worse, blatant forgeries where the secret authors are signing someone else's famous name. The Old Testament doesn't fare any better. The first five books, the heart of the Torah, doesn't come from the pen of Moses, as Jesus professed. It is very clearly a literal stitching together of multiple holy documents from different times and different regions. The only serious debate here is how many books were merged. Three? Four? Ten? 